Good morning. Today is January 8th. And it's a day two. Last night, the Capitol Police officer died from injuries endured when he engaged in the pro-Trump mob in previous day. The officer, Brian Day Sicknett, died around 9.30 p.m. and he had been part of the agency since 2006. After Officer Sinknet had physically engaged with the mob, he had returned to his division office, collapsed when he brought to the hospital homicide investigators from. The, the Metropolitan Police Department are now being involved with the, in the, with the case. Health officials say that they are overpromised on the rolling out of vaccines after this holiday season. Dr. Anthony Fauci said on Thursday that if we don't catch up to what the original goal was, then we really need to make some changes about what we're doing. He also said that after they fell behind during the holiday season, it was time to really turn on the really turn the afterburners on. They have currently administered almost 6 million vaccines, but have rolled out over 21 million doses across the country. And many officials are thrilled after President Trump signed the 900 billion COVID relief package that included funds to help the vaccine rollout. Axton Biosciences, whose CEO is an ESM alum, recently announced its partnership with Lake Pharma to develop a shelf-stable COVID-19 vaccine. The company's focus on insulin and designing novel fusion proteins, plus it's in, in a unique position to offer a shelf-stable vaccine at an inexpensive cost. They are looking at starting early phase one and two trials in January and February, and phase three in late March, early April. If successful, they say they can produce 1 billion vaccine samples in one year in one facility, creating a vaccine for everyone everywhere. While we continue to make progress on our insulin platform, the pandemic is too consequential to ignore, especially since the benefits of our platform, like shelf stability and room temperature, and the ability to provide repeated dosages is an important long-term advantage to deliver a vaccine to everyone everywhere, said Todd Zion, CEO of Axton Biosciences. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The senior class of 2021 is hosting a Chipotle fundraiser night on Wednesday, January 13th from 5 to 9 at Erie Boulevard location. Show the flyer on your phone to earn the credit. Follow the class of 2021 on Instagram to get their flyer. Parents and students are invited to a virtual ESM Alumni Connection event at 7 p.m. Tuesday, January 12th on Zoom. Talk to current college students, get real advice, tips, and tricks. What classes should students take? What, colleges, what college life is like? Find out. The event will feature ESM alum with majors in liberal and fine arts, medical, STEM education, and business. All are invited to this event hosted through the Parent Advisory Council. Click here at 7 p.m. to join. Uh, now we're going on to weather. No precipitation today, and in the afternoon, it should be very sunny. It will be seasonably chilly with highs near 30. Saturday will be the brightest day of the week and have highs around 30. Sunday will be more cloudy with highs in the lower 30s. Monday and Tuesday will be cloudy for, mo for the most part, but we can expect a few short flurries with highs in the mid-30s. And Wednesday and Thursday will have mixed sun and clouds with highs in the mid-30s to low 40s. I'm Nicole with your weather. Legendary Syracuse running back Floyd Little passed away January 1st. He also was an NFL Hall of Famer for the Denver Broncos, and he is the only three-time All-American running back in Syracuse's history. The NFL playoffs are set this week with six games for Wild Card Weekend. On Saturday, the Indianapolis Colts play the Buffalo Bills at 105, the LA Rams play the Seattle Seahawks at 440, 
and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers play the Washington football team at 8.15. On Sunday, the Baltimore Ravens play the Tennessee Titans at 105. The Chicago Bears play the New Orleans at 440, and the Cleveland Browns play the, play the Pittsburgh Steelers at 8.15. I'm Lino Sports. All right, that's all we have for today. So from me, Josh, and everyone else here at the morning show. Oh, wait, we have one more. It's flipped. Okay. And we want to wish our favorite fan and former weatherman, Larry Brightonfield, a very happy birthday. <laughs>